Hello, I am about to change out the hard drive in this MacBook Pro for a solid state drive from our friends from Crucial. Okay, and there's plenty of videos like this already, but what I didn't find before was how to get the data from the hard drive that's in here onto here so that I can just switch them and everything will be good. What's kind of cool is that our uh, friends from Crucial have this uh, data transfer kit and it includes a uh, data transfer cable and the software that you need to plug everything in and presumably switch it around. So that's what this video is all about. All right, so I've opened and cut and did everything I need to do. I've got two boxes here, three boxes if you count that one. First one is the drive itself. Open that up. Right, so there's the drive itself. Very nice. And then here is the kit, and here we've got the drive, and here we've got everything else. Very Apple of them. And in here, come on, there we go. We've got this handy dandy little cable and some software. So we'll check that out. All right, and just for benchmarking purposes, we're gonna start the thing up and I'll stop the timer when we get to the dock. Not when all everything else is all booted up and everything like that, but when the dock shows up is when I'll do it. And this is with the original hard drive, not the solid state. All right, so the dot came up about a minute later. So one minute power on to dock. You know, it's actually still in the process of uh, loading all my apps and getting everything else all set up, but one minute power on to dock is a good fair test. So let's uh, see what we got from the software. Okay, so I've got the CD installed in the side here, and we open up Finder, and I've got something here called Apricorn. It's hard to read. And I've got Auto Run, Auto Run, Auto Run. Oh, this is for Windows. All right, so they do have one here called Macintosh Readme, so let's see what they say. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I'm sure there's something very handy for our Windows friends, but for us Macintosh people, basically, down here at the bottom they say, a handy free utility for backing up and restoring this is can be downloaded from shirtpocket.com. It's a product called Super Duper. I actually have that on my, uh, on my big system. It works great. I use it all the time. So I guess we'll be uh, downloading and using that to back everything up. So I'll, I'll be back. Alright, so here I am at Super Duper. And what's especially cool about it is back up your drive free forever. When you buy it, and I suggest it, you get scheduled backups and things like that. It's wonderful. But uh, for now, I'm just going to download the thing and uh, use the free edition when we're uh, done downloading which it looks like it might already be done downloading. I'll uh, fire it up and get back to the video. Okay, so now I'm going to take the cable here, which is uh, part of the data transfer kit. And it looks like this is going to be the only thing that really means anything to me because uh, all the software they include is all for Windows, but that's all right. So we'll take this, plug this into the USB port on the side here, and then I'll take my drive, the solid state drive, and very neat. It looks like it will plug in nice and easy over here. I gotta set that down, set the camera down for just a second. Looks like it's gonna go like this. Okay. 
so it should be plugged in. And I'm not seeing anything. So let's check out disk utility. Disk utility. And we can get rid of the CD here. The disk I inserted was not readable by the computer. Initialize. Eject super duper here. Hmm. Looks like ah, here we go. Five there it is. Awesome. Okay. So that being the case, let's see if super duper because it's not showing up here in my list of devices like I would expect. But it is showing up as a drive over here. So let's see if I can use super duper just as is without having to format or partition or anything like that. So I'm going to back up my Macintosh hard drive. And I'm going to back it up to... No, it's not showing. So I'm going to have to come over here to disk utility and partition it. Oops. No, just one partition. And we'll partition it as uh, Mac Intosh SSD. How about that'll do? Apply. Are you sure you want to partition this? Partition. And I gotta change the batteries in my camera. So we'll be back. Okay, while I was away, changing out the battery in my camera, the system came up and asked me if I wanted to use the Macintosh SSD to go with Time Machine. And I say, don't use. Okay. But now, notice what we have is we've got the solid state drive down here. Okay. So now if I fire up Super Duper, I can back up the hard drive to the solid state drive. It's going to back up all files. Is the uh, script it's got there. I'm going to say options. And on successful completion, set Macintosh SSD as a startup disk. Okay. Slide that up there. And I think this is everything we need. During copy, erase SSD, then copy files. Set Macintosh SSD as startup disk. Advanced. That looks okay. Just as is. So I say okay. And copy now. I put my password. You are about to erase and copy Macintosh SSD. Yeah, whatever. Go for it. And here it goes. So we'll be back when it's done. All right. Four hours and 37 minutes later, we're all backed up. That external hard drive, not external to the uh, solid state drive. So now I can uh, make the switch and uh, be good to go. And you can watch other videos to see how that goes. I don't need to show you that. Oh, all right. What the heck? I'll show this part too. So there's a whole bunch of screws here. We need a teeny tiny little screwdriver. And the thing to note right now it's upside down. The uh, power and all the ports is over on this side is these three are very long screws and all the rest of them are teeny tiny. So once we've got all the screws out we can take the 
lid off and make our switch. So we'll set that over there. Here's the hard drive. So I'll slide that out and put the new one in. So what I did is there's four screws. One, two, three, four. Just loosen those up and then you can grab the little plastic tab here. Alright, so with the uh, four screws pulled out, I can pull off this bracket. And these I might not even have down do, but I did, that's alright. But then, this is pretty much free and it's just attached with a little cable there, so be very careful. And we'll pop that cable off of this hard drive and install it on the new one. Okay, literally it was slide the old one out, push this right back in there. And now I'll go in and reinstall this little bracket here and tighten my screws down. Alright, so here's the old hard drive and you can see that we've got the little screws here and here and on the other side. These need to come out and get installed on the solid state drive to lock it in place. So I'll pull these out and put them in on the new drive. All right, now I have the screws installed in the drive itself. I can lay it back in here. Lay it back in there. Put the bracket back on and tighten everything back down. We're close now. All right, all four screws tightened back on. Time to put the cover back on. Grab this cover, set her back on there, and put our screws on. Okay, so here we go. I just put the screws on. Flip this thing over. Give it a little juice. All right. Open her up. Get my phone out so I can time it. Clock, stopwatch. All right, so there's where we were from before. Reset, and I don't know, over the best, right? I hope it works. Wow, that was pretty good. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it came up and it wants me to put my password in, so I'll do that. look pretty much okay. A little bit of extra setup it looks like it wants me to do so I'll do that stuff. But otherwise everything looks uh, pretty much like it's here. Sweet. I'll do one more boot up after I get everything else all set up the way it's supposed to be. Alright, I've gone and uh, let the computer do all its gyrations and now we're going to start it up and uh, wait till we get to the dock and see how long it takes. There's the dock, 27, yeep, 27 seconds or so, 
maybe 28, less than 30, whatever it was. And uh, just for what it's worth, all the rest of everything has already come up by now. So much more fast. I like it. All right. Hope you guys found it interesting.